afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the City of Anderson's virtual public hearing that's being held today, May 28, 2020, to discuss our 2019 Annual Action Plan Substantial Amendment. We also will be discussing an amendment to our Citizens Participation Plan. We are conducting this virtual public hearing in lieu of a public hearing at our public offices due to social distancing during COVID-19. We will have available at the conclusion of this public hearing, our PowerPoint slides, and you may during the hearing write questions or you may email me at ecraft at cityofandersonsc.com. This substantial amendment is being made to our 2019 Annual Action Plan. The City of Anderson is updating our annual goals and objective outcome measures to more accurately reflect the programs that are being carried out. The projects and plan activities were also updated to more accurately reflect funding in the program year. These changes are being made due to us making revisions from the original annual action plan submission that would have been submitted on May 15th of 2019. This plan will describe the reallocated CDBG, and that is our Community Development Block Grant, balance of $775,126.78 as of May 15th, 2020. Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, is a federal program that is flexible and can be used for a variety of activities that target low to moderate income persons, households, and neighborhoods that are 80% area medium income and below. We are able to use our CDBG funds for several eligible uses. These uses may include public improvements, streets, sidewalks, parks, sewers, public facilities such as neighborhood centers, nonprofit centers, or homeless facilities. We also may use CDBG funds to rehabilitate residential and non-residential business. We may use CDBG funds for the acquisition of land or real property, economic development activities, public services that may include healthcare, homeless services, literacy, youth services, senior services. And we may also set aside a maximum of 20% of our grant for planning and administration of the Community Development Block Grant Program. There are several resources that we anticipate having available for this 2019 amendment to the Annual Action Plan. We are looking to reallocate monies from prior years, and that will include our 2019 allocation, a balance of $412,557. Prior year resources from previous years total $362,569, which gives us a grand total of $775,000. $126. These monies will be used as listed below from our 19 funds, 18 and 17 funds. There are several projects that are included in the annual action plan amendment. These projects are temporary relocation, housing rehabilitation, planning and administration, public facilities improvements, demolition and clearance, public services, and fair housing. The funding amount for each respective project is as follows. Temporary relocation, $12,100. Housing rehabilitation, $226,000. Planning and administration, $122,557. Public facilities improvements, $330,569. Demolition and clearance, $58,900. Public services and fair housing, $25,000.
There are several accomplishments that we estimate and hope to achieve prior to the end of our fiscal year for June 30th of 2020, program year 2019. Temporary relocation, we've estimated that we will temporarily relocate three households and provide assistance for the housing and storage of their items during rehabilitation of the homes owned by owner occupants. We estimate that three units will be rehabilitated that are owner occupied. These units are located in our community development redevelopment areas. Public facilities improvements. It's estimated that 5,425 low to moderate income persons will be assisted through our area-wide benefit as we continue to work on projects and complete the Beatrice Thompson Park located in Census Track 7 and D.B. Walker Park located in Census Track 123. We estimate that eight buildings will be demolished and we also estimate 50 LMI persons will be assisted through our public services and fair housing. What are the next steps? The next steps are to allow citizens to provide comments on the annual action plan 2019 amendment and that comment period began May 22nd through May 29th, 2020. We are holding a public hearing at this moment and it's again being held virtually due to social distancing with COVID-19. We anticipate that we will submit our amendment on May 29th, and it possibly can be delayed until June 1st. The program start is as soon as HUD approves the plan. If anyone has questions or comments regarding this amendment, you may direct them to myself, Erica M. Craft, Director of Community Development Division, the City of Anderson, 401 South Main Street, and you may email me at ecraft at cityofandersonsc.com. My phone number is 864-231-2242, fax number 864-231-7627. The purpose of this virtual hearing was also to discuss revisions that were made to update our citizen participation plan. The citizen participation plan is a plan that outlines how we, the community development division, keeps the public informed and involved in the community development block grant programs that are provided through this office. We have a plan that outlines how we will advertise our public hearings and meetings, how we will solicit and document comments received by the public, how we will do needs assessments, technical assistance, and other items. It also addresses how grievances may be um, <clears throat> addressed, and all public meetings are held in guidance with this document. If anyone would like to see a copy of the most recently updated citizens participation plan, it is available by going to the city of Anderson's website, www.cityofandersonsc.com slash community development. The document is located just below the header that announced the amendment to the 2019 Annual Action Plan and amendment to the Citizens Participation Plan. Thank you all for joining us today. And please feel free to contact our office if you have any questions. Have a good afternoon.